everyone welcome back to another episode of little hope so yeah we all lost taylor that happened i want to go through our premonitions again just to we only have two left to to get just to make sure we remember all of them because i for sure don't okay let's see yeah the gun we should have taken that that was stupid on my part okay the knife right we did take that there you go. Then this is the gun we're pointing at at one of the figures. But we didn't have it, so that's Angela. We helped her up. We did that. Oh well, there she didn't get helped up, but <laughs> Taylor was hiding. Yeah, we never got this. We never got this. And we never will, because she died. This is the bus driver with the gun. The bus driver being taken away in the cop's car. Helping Angela. Yeah, Andrew's helping Angela. This I haven't seen yet. So I need to lock it. We need to run out of the gate and lock it. That's what we need to do. For this we need a pickaxe and put it under the door. Maybe it's not a pickaxe, but an axe thing. And then the last one. I mean, that was the, the thing with... with Daniel. Maybe from that we could have seen that he would have been fine. I don't know. Okay, well, let's continue. Go this way. Freak, we lost Taylor. I so badly wanted to keep everyone alive, guys. But, you know, there are still Men of Madon in which I can try. And uh, a new game is coming out soon. Uh, the third game in a trilogy. So Fireflies. there I can try again as well. That's what's causing the glow. <laughs> mm-hmm. Looks kind of beautiful. Don't you think? I wanted to check on the other like side as well. Looking. Not done yet. Now we don't have the pickaxe, but I I didn't click any buttons. Oh okay. Oh, there we are! No, this cannot be. My we do play a role in here. Okay, there we are. My apologies for the lateness of the hour, but I must speak with you. What ails you, my friend? It is Mary. I am troubled by her, by the part she has played in these trials. Most trials trouble us all. There is more to this. I saw her smile as her own sister was executed. She took pleasure from it. Are you certain? I am. But now that she speaks of guilt and remorse, it is hard not to believe her. Keep away from her, Abraham. No good can come from being with that child. Too late. With her brother and sister gone, Mary now lives under my oh. roof. Your charity places you in grave danger. What do you advise? Tell the court you suspect she toys with us all. That you saw a delight in her own sister's death, I implore you. I am torn. Mary seems full of Keep remorse. Your suspicions to yourself, and it's our community which will suffer. None of us is safe from her wild imaginings. Very well. If the court will listen, I will speak. I am bewitched. You're not bewitched. How else can your presence be explained? I, I can't explain this, but you're not. She has conjured you to defend her. To press me into silence. Only the devil could create a demon who so resembles me. I'm not a demon. But we do look alike, which I agree is pretty damn weird. What do you want from me? I want to know what you're going to say to the court. About Mary. 
I was decided to speak to the cause. Now I am not so sure. I know how this must look, but you have to speak out. Tell everyone what the girl did. Like your friend. No! Is you the devil has no. sent you to tempt me. I must not succumb. Little Hope is no longer the town I knew. Strange and disturbing events have become commonplace. You, whatever you are, are but one of these. Revealing the truth about Mary may save my friend, but it does not sit easily with me that in doing so I condemn a child. The priest is the villain, obviously! Putting it all on a kid isn't right. The priest is the one driving this whole thing. That's way off. We gotta stop the kid. No other way to do this. Reverend Carver is a man guided by God. No one can doubt that. Daniel didn't like that. Yeah, but I'm sorry. Like, obviously it's a priest. But I think this is the Bad door. There, man. Standing up for the kid is probably going to do us all in. I hope you're wrong. For all our sakes. What happened? Bonus feature unlocked. You get a again. chance to confront huh. Mary? No. Nope. We never even saw her. Fuck. Then look to the left of the building now. Let's check that out. It'll get us out of these damn woods, and we can talk on the way. Oh. We are going that way. I can't go back. Okay, 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 okay. Where am I now? There we are. So let's just see. Fearful. Oh, we have two traits locked now. Fearful and arrogant? Why is there two traits locked? I don't understand. That means they're gonna die for sure, right? Not sure I want the answer. But what did you two see back there? We met up with Andrew's double, Abraham. He was thinking about testifying against Mary, but good boy Andrew talked him out of it. Mm. That was a smart move. Are you fucking kidding me? Another one of these duels. Oh, we're gonna lose him as well. Okay. Where am I going as well? Where am I going? Oh, there we go. What am I hearing? We're gonna die so badly. Whatever we saw back there, or thought we saw, we're still in grave danger. Uh, we might have missed our chance. There's gotta be a way of stopping the girl. We might have already missed a chance to change things. You had a chance to get Mary exposed for what she is. A liar and a faker. Put her in the dock for a change. Why didn't you take it? We don't know for sure that stopping Mary will help us out. It's just a theory. It may only be a theory, but right now it's all we've got. This is a one-shot deal. We get it wrong and there's no replay. It's game over, so I'm up for doing whatever it takes. Come on. Let's take a look. Best to get the large building and stick together. I need to find that pickaxe. Okay. We do not continue before I find that. There's... Oh, is that the last one? That might be the last one. Oh. She even unlocked de deathly visions? Probably because we found all of them now, right? Oh yeah, that's not good. He gets crushed to death. Okay. Oh no, we still have one to go. Okay, that was almost the last one. So, but we have many secrets that we missed, I guess. Or we're, we're still not at the end. We're still having many of them. <laughs> A monument to the girl at the center of the Little Hope Witch Trials. Pastor Carver took her under his wing before she incriminated several townspeople. Mary accused Amy of witchcraft after Carver took her under his wing. Mm-hmm. 
The frame witness statements of Mary Milton describing how Amy communed with the devil spirit is co-signed by Simon Carver. Mary accused Amy of witchcraft after Carver took her under his wing. Yeah. I mean, very, very, very sus, guys. <laughs> very sus. Let's see. I explore everything. Don't think I can go that way, but possibly something here. We gotta find another route. That. Papers. Mayor heals land deal. Fierce protests uh, will surely escalate as closure looms. So this was the factory, maybe? Oh, 666 Carver. <laughs> Vote Carver for mayor. 666 for a future prosperity. Samuel Carver. That doesn't seem like they liked him. Not just continue. Find the X. Surely this is a place where you find X's, right? I don't see anything else here. Okay. Guess we go up. Don't really see any other choice. Am I just missing like talking moments? Maybe we have one moment where we could talk to to people, and now it's gone. I don't think this is the door though. Check this out. Door had glass in it. Hey! Um. That guy's a menace. I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. Come on, inside. Well, no one's been here for a long time. Oh. Oh. It's my time to speak before the judge. I am filled with dread. I cannot know how my testimony will be received. The devil has blinded so many to what is real and what is not. Nothing good will come of this. His words will seek to twist the truth. Allow me to judge what is true. Abraham and Joseph are allies in this deception. And lest we forget, you condemned Joseph to death only yesterday. Or do you now question that decision? I have heard nothing today to sway my conviction. Joseph consorted with the same malicious force as his wife. For this, the court thanks Reverend Carver, who faced the devil's wrath to present the evidence. It is only my duty, Judge. Mm. However, this court is duty by law to seek out the truth. We must therefore examine these claims made by Abraham against Mary. If I may speak briefly, Judge Wyman. Time is short, Reverend. Be indeed brief. Mary has shown great fortitude to speak out against the evil here. Many would have lacked her courage. Yet her reward for exposing this brooding covered in our midst is to be besmirched. Her courage is not in question. It is her intent we must be certain of. Her accuser is the very man entrusted to care for this innocent child. Plain to see he is not fit for such a task. And I would ask the court to have Mary placed elsewhere. With you, possibly? Huh? Who would you have be her new ward, Reverend? I am prepared to take responsibility for the child. If the court agrees. First, the court must hear what Abraham has to say. No decision can be made on the child until then. Abraham! What am I to do? Some would have me speak out against Mary, but could a child truly be no. capable of such evil? This is tough for you. Be sympathetic. This is tough. I get that. It would be for anyone. Mary, it's just a kid. There you go. Tell the court what you have come here to say. Speak up, boy. Out with it! Mary has spoken of evil spirits. 
devilry and witchcraft. Things many cannot believe could exist here in the I'm not Hall. here for history and hearsay. Get to the point, boy. Mary is tormented. The apparitions she has seen, they have plagued her, stolen her innocence. Some suggest she is in league with these creatures, but no one can be certain. Myself, least of all. Can any of us truly know a child's mind? You claim I lack the ability to see the truth. Mm -hmm. I beg forgiveness. I would never suggest such a thing. My time is not for wasting. You and the priest have irked me enough for one day. I have more to say. I have already given you enough time. Furthermore, Mary is to be placed into the care of oh, Reverend Carl. Now stand down. Yeah, that's not good. Is that my fault? Tell me everything. Did you see Andrew's double again? He told the judge that Mary did nothing wrong, like she's the victim here. Oh, that's bad. Very, very bad. Shit! So what happens now? I'm not sure I did the right thing. I guess hey, at least we know we can influence the outcome. That's gotta be good, right? You agree with him? Uh, yeah. Went down like he said. It went down just like he said. Okay, oh, that's creepy. I don't like that. Oh! What? The fuck? We can't stay. Let's get out of here. Maybe it's just Vince. Let's see. Yeah, we still have two trace locked. Oh, this is not good. I don't know what to do about that. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, guys. Loss. Well, Andrew told us look alike Abraham and Mary was a victim. I think that's, yeah, that's it. Then the little girl. Joseph advised Abram to speak out against Mary's maliciousness. This thing is endless. Does it just get longer and longer or what? We still can't see the end of it. Okay. Huh. Um, and then the stranger. Vince assured Andrew he would get uh, go get help at the church door. That's a bike, 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 bike. But then here Andrew ran into Vince while running for the safety of the church. No, that's not it either. Vince shouted to Andrew outside the factory, telling him this will all be over soon. There you go. I really wonder what part Vince plays in this whole story. Two traits locked. Oh! Look at those outfits. This place shut down way, way back. Life as a kid in the 70s. Everything was ahead of me. Do you recognize anyone on here? I'm really bad at recognizing faces. Like, you just need to put on a different outfit, fake mustache. I'm like, okay, well, you're clearly a different person. Uh, yeah, I don't recognize anyone. But that could just be because of me. <laughs> There's gotta be another exit. Maybe on the ground floor? On go that way. Locked. Something here. In memory of James Clark, 1929 till 1972. Sally missed by his uh, many friends and colleagues. Okay. That door was locked. Nope. No, no. Here. There you go. They have one car to find, right? Yes, my ass. <laughs> okay. Mr. Vince Barnes, 15 Mayflower Avenue, number 7. Little Hope, M.A. Blah, blah, blah. Date, May 8th, 1972. Dear Mr. Barnes, subject employment warning letter. Following our recent disciplinary meeting, I am writing regarding your attendance and behavior. Management have made very every effort to accommodate your difficult circumstances and recent injury by accepting your recurring absences. However, continued warnings regarding attendance, lateness, and intoxication have prompted us to issue a formal write, uh, written warning. 
Further repetition of this behavior or other misconduct within the next 12 months will result in dismissal. Raviden expects our employees to be enthusiastic, punctual, and sober. You must acknowledge receipts of this letter. Please sign and return it to the foreman's office within seven days. Okay. Mr. Barnes. Else here? Oh, yeah. That's the family. Get over here. You got to see this. It's the family. This is too fucking weird. <sighs> this is too much. Way too fucking much. First, a load of weirdo witch killers from ancient history look just like us. Now, we got the creepy family of the year winners who also look just like us. What the actual fuck? What does it mean though? Do you think they died like the other lookalikes? No clue. Who knows what happened to them? Maybe we're all stuck in the same nightmare. You really want a souvenir? From this night? From this place? All I know, I'm keeping hold of this. What you said about all this being a nightmare. You mean that? If it's my nightmare, why are you guys all in it? Any of us could say the same thing. Yeah, but it could be Andrew's nightmare, right? Because he's the only one that survived. Yeah, I want to see for a second... Um, secrets, because for sure this has all been updated. There you go. Photo dated 6 June 1917. Some of the faces and photos appear familiar. These faces keep popping up throughout Little Hope's history. Yeah, that's us. Photo of a family on a sunny day in front of their house. Their faces are all familiar. These faces keep popping up throughout Little Hope's history from the outside a very typical American family. Uh, Andrew seems to remember this keychain from his dream. Is this the same family? Yeah, right? Must be. Uh, disciplinary me uh, letter to Vincent Barnes from his employers at the Revenant factory regarding his attendance, lateness, and intoxication. On the reverse, someone has written, kiss my ass. The team seemed happy without any hint of any disciplinary issues. Uh, newspaper article on the disincorporation of a little hope following the shutdown of the factory and a result... Uh, result in mass exodus of the population. The workers' exodus after the factory closure left the town in ruin. Yeah, for sure. An old factor photo of the factory employees. The team seemed happy without any hint of disciplinary issues. After the factory closed, most of these people left little hope. James appeared well loved at work. Memory applied to James Clark. Oh, there. Who died in 1972. James appeared well loved at work. Okay, there we go. We still have quite some secrets to go, guys. I don't know what's real here. Are you the real Andrew? Oh, come on. So wait. Who are those people in the photograph? Maybe time is fucked up here. Like, that really is us in that photo. But they're around the same age as us. As far as I can tell. I think you're onto something. A lot of secrets to be found here. That's a judge. There's a plaque missing. Oh, there we go. There's the plaque. Thomas Wyman. Thomas presided over the conviction of several witches in Little Hope. He later regretted placing so much weight on a child's testimony. The current factory was founded on the site of Wyman's residence. Oh, really? Okay. Hmm. And something else? We're finding so much here. Wait, no, why are you dropping it? No, no, don't do that. Samuel Notcha, Lewiston, February 16, 1693. Having read uh, Captain Bond's letter attesting the affair within Little Hope and heard the petitions of the townsmen, I write to express my signal concernment. Pastor Carver's teaching strayed from the true doctrine and Piety? 
His mind wandered from the fellowship of saints and surrendered into sin over many years. Please attend to his past behaviors, which infect and corrupt the town. I ask a commission to be appointed to examine such affairs of last year, including the matter of the girl. Thy servant, thus Wyman judge. So, he ended up not trusting him anymore. Okay, that's good. Well, for sure that there's something here. Yeah. Burn paper? Or just... Oh. Dated August 8, 1973. Little Hope Factory to close. Hundreds of layoffs will gut the town. Nearly 600 jobs are set to be lost in Little Hope when the Raviton Textiles Factory closes its gates at the Harvard Roadside in September. Layoffs will include workers at the main factory and ancillary businesses across the town. The decision was announced on Tuesday by Hazel Carver, a director in the family business that has been in the primary employer, uh, has been the primary employer in the town for over 160 years. With great sadness, we have made this decision. We consider the workers at the factory to be part of our extended family and know how much revenue means to them. But we can no longer uh, continue to run the business. Unreadable. Dialogue with the Carver family. Seth McCarthy. But while the daughters have been receptive to the union's ideas for saving the factory, Mayor Carver has rejected them at every turn. He went on, We want a partnership with the family to save their business and our livelihoods, but it seems as if the mayor does not accept partners. Another union worker who did not want to be identified expressed his bitter opinion. This is all about the land. The Carvers have owned the town for generations. They can't profit from the land, they will shut it all down. As the main source of income for the majority of the town's families, many are worried that what the future will bring. The factory closing will gut the town. One factory worker told the Herald, adding, We... something. Ferriman. Bus drivers wanted. Full training given uniform provided. Apply to Prime Transit 12 Eden Street, Northbridge, MA. Bus drivers wanted. Okay, that's very interesting. Interesting. Still don't know what happened to our bus driver. But maybe he saw that ad too. Dope, don't do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why the snake? <laughs> Can we go this way? East County Commission factory closure. Uh, the factory has been closed due to liquidation of Little Hope Textiles. Following several incidents since the closure, the factory has been placed off limits. Attempts to enter the premises will be treated as criminal trespass. Any former workers wishing to retrieve property can contact our offices. Okay. Nope, don't do it. There you go again. <laughs> Full empty now. Can't go here anymore. Let's read a little bit. Uh, Cause wow, a lot is updated. Carver's name was uh, expunged after the events of the witch trials had been investigated. I see. Um, a letter from Judge Wyman expressing his dismay at what Carver did in the witch trials and asking that a commission be appointed to examine the affairs, including the matter of the girl. The letter is dated February 6, 1693. According to the monument in the church, Simon Carver was a pastor in Little Hope from 1688 to 1692. His name was scratched out. After the witch trials, Judge Wyman demanded an investigation into Carver, who had stayed uh, straight from godliness. Manuscripts from the 1600s that were covered with occult symbols were discovered beneath flags. Wait. Uh, after the witch trials, Judge Wyman demanded an investigation into Carver, who had strayed from the godliness. There you go. And we have this one updated. In later life, Judge Wyman regretted placing so much weight on the testimony of a child. A portrait of Thomas Wyman, an accompanying plaque, indicates that the judge regretted his judgment in the witch trials in later life. The factory in which the portrait sits was built on the side of Wyman's house. In later life, Judge Wyman regretted placing so much weight on the testimony of a child. The courtroom was a hectic place filled with drama. That's one way to say, yeah. Uh, an example of Judge Wyman being swayed by the drama field testimony of a child. Oh, and all of this is updated. 
aged uh, and di dilipidated? dilipidated? I don't know. Posters from a protest against the closure of the Little Hope factory and a land sale by the Carver family. The name of the factory the Carver family was trying to close was the Ravidon factory. The town spoke were to with the news of the factory closure. Um, the factory was the main source of income for the majority of the families in Little Hope. The workers' exodus after the factory closure left the town in ruin. An article from 1973 on how the factory closure will gut the town. The attempt to negotiate a deal with the Carver family failed. The union actively protested against the closure of the factory. Little Hope became a ghost town due to the factory closure. James's death happened not long before the closure of the factory. And then we have one more. Memorial plaque to James Clark, who died in 1972. James particularly loved at work. James's death happened not long before the closure of the factory. That's interesting. Is that going to mean anything? And then we have one more of these to go, guys. Okay, but I think we are going to end episode here for now. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Won't you spare me over to another year?